up, everybody? Nick here, your ginger bearded gorilla. Woo woo! Um, hey, I want to talk to you guys a little today about this awesome and fucking incredible country that we live in, the United States of America. And the abundant opportunities that everyone has here. And it's equality of opportunity, not outcome, not equality of outcome. Big difference. Big difference. And um, it's kind of has to do with all the craziness and the nonsense and the BS that's going on uh, in the world today. So, look, the, uh, the wealthiest and the poorest people pretty much have all the same exact things here, right? On different scales, but pretty much we've all got homes to live in, cars to drive, uh, often more than one car, phones, air conditioning, Heating, uh, electric, lights, food, you know, beds, homes, lawns, every, pretty much everything. Not nearly as nice, right? So you may have, uh, you know, one size house and someone who makes a lot of money is going to have a mansion, let's just say. You can have the same fucking thing if you work for it. It's like if you want to be in good shape, right? You exercise and you eat right. You don't just sit around, you know, eating fucking chips and greasy fried food and watching TV and thinking you're gonna be in amazing shape or eat one meal or exercise once. No, you gotta do it consistently. So with everything, you get out what you put into it. That's everything in this world, you know what I mean? Uh, your relationship with your spouse, with your children, with your everything your work your business your hobbies your passions everything that you do you get out what you put in As you put more work in you get better results right it's just that simple and um, anything else is just a bullshit lying excuse so what I want to say is I don't really watch the news however I will tell you this and I can't believe that people don't realize this. And just Their heads are so far fucking buried in either the sand or their ass or someone else's that they cannot see the truth in this. The news media is bullshit. Okay? They do not want everyone to be happy and prosperous or prosperous, prosperous and abundant and just be great and happy people. Because there's no scoop. There's no story in that, people. They need ratings. That's how they make their money. Ratings. To say that they would want all the things I just said, it's kind of like saying a big pharmaceutical company wants everybody to be healthy. Couldn't be further from the fucking truth at all, ever. In fact, they invent drugs and fucking diseases every single day for you. You know what I mean? Like, what happened when, you know, your kids could... Our kids could run outside and we're healthy and strong and full of energy. You put them in sports. Some shit drops on the ground, you pick it up and you eat it anyway. Everybody's great. Now your kid goes outside and he's got ADHD. He's allergic to the sun. He's allergic to this. He can't look at grass. Trees make him scratch. Uh, you know what I mean? Do you ever stop and think about that? So... <clears throat> bring your kid to the doctor and they put him on a drug a pharmaceutical drug and then guess what now they got a customer for life for since, since probably like age 5 or 6 sometimes even younger because now you got a drug for that and now you got another problem so you get another drug and you get another drug to combat some of the effects of some of the other drugs if they wanted you healthy you know what I mean they'd be out of business they don't want that and it's the same with the news media and outlets and everything else from this bullshit going on from corona to racism and all the crazy shit out there. I can't believe people actually buy into it. It's just so stupid. Do you know what I mean? It's the most ridiculous thing ever. Anyway, just chew on that and think about it. Stay smart. Educate yourselves. Research shit. And um, be happy. Be fucking positive. You know, find the good and shit. And anyway, until the next one, out.